Hello everyone, I am Shivangi Agarwal and today I will be giving you a small guide as to how you can prepare for your actuarial exams. Now in India there are two uh, main institutes from where the students appear for the actuarial exams which are IEI Indian Institute and the IFOA which is the UK Institute. Now there are lots of students who take uh, training or co uh, coaching from certain institutes uh, for their papers and there are a few students who prepare by themselves and they do not take any uh, classes. So this uh, today what I'll discuss here will be um, as to how uh, what are the basic and important steps which you should consider which you should keep in mind when sitting for any actual exams okay so let's start the very important and the foremost thing is the material or the core reading so this is uh, purchased from the institute if you are appearing from IEI Indian Institute then you have to uh, compulsorily purchase their uh, hard copy or the soft copy of the material. Uh, in IFOA it's not uh, mandatory to do that. Vo uh, why the material or the co-reading is important which is given by the institute because it contains all the concepts, all the examples, all the questions, all the theoretical part and which actually you know comes in the exam. So it's very important that you read the co-reading very very thoroughly. I've seen students who uh, take uh, classes, coaching classes, they generally don't uh, read the material but you all at least have to read the material once because your concepts are concepts and the question solving everything it is built upon in the classes itself so you don't have any requirement to read the material but still I suggest that it is always good to read your material at least once minimum of once and there are uh, depending on few topics depending on some papers that we tell students to read the material twice or more than that okay the students who are not taking uh, classes will definitely have to read the material because that is where from where they will actually learn all the concepts right now in the material uh, behind every chapter there is a summary right maybe two to three pages summarizing the entire chapter this is very very important for quick revision which happens maybe uh, two to three weeks before the exams so it's very important that you also go through the summary notes at least once or twice before the exam then are the back questions or the questions which are there behind each chapter again it's very very important because sometimes we have seen that these questions directly or indirectly come in the examinations and obviously the X assignments so in the current material which you have of IFOA or IA there is something called as X assignment there are some papers in which you will get five X assignments X1, X2, X3, X4, X5. There are some papers there are only three X assignments and so on. So solving X assignments uh, is very very important. So what they do is when you see the table of contents of the material they divide the entire suppose there are 23 chapters in a particular paper they divide these 23 chapters into various sections uh, each section might contain five to six chapters so for these five to six chapters you have one x assignment so the moment you finish these five chapters it's very important that you sit down and solve the x assignment generally these x assignments are of 100 marks each so it's like a mock paper which you are sitting for after completing that required portion so it's very important to solve these because you will understand how uh, well your concepts have been evolved and where what are the places you actually have to work upon right so this is one thing then we have the revision notes or what we known as past questions so past you generally get a revision note booklet or um, you can take you can purchase it from the institute as well so this contains all the question and answers uh, of the past papers uh, of IFOA um, which is generally comprised compiled in a very good way wherein they compile all these questions section wise so when I say section wise it's again the same suppose first five chapters are compiled together into one particular section and uh, all the past 
questions of these first five chapters are put in one place together so once you have completed studying the first five chapters it's very important you have completed the first five chapters maybe in your classes you have read the material very nicely you have solved all the back questions now the next thing should always be to solve the past questions uh, from these five chapters because question solving is very very important in actuarial science be it it's a theoretical paper or it's a practical paper you definitely have to solve lots of questions to understand what kind of questions are generally asked from those particular chapters right when we talk about the IEI exams it's very important especially for the IEI students to at least solve minimum of 10 terms paper now we have gone through the material we have gone through the x assignments we have done all the past questions but these past questions or, or the revision notes which we do is generally section wise or maybe chapter wise right once you complete the entire syllabus it's very important that you sit down and give mock examination so if you're taking classes from somewhere they might be conducting certain mock examinations examinations so appearing for those mock exams and also to solve 10 past terms paper if you are sitting for IA especially try to solve that institute's paper only so suppose I am sitting for IA exams I will solve 10 past IEI examinations and if I'm sitting for IFO I will do that for the IFO terms now since the revision notes or the past questions already cover the questions from IFO so you can just take maybe last four to five term examinations and solve it as a proper mock but students who are appearing from IEI for them it's very very important to solve 10 past terms of IEI papers because the trend of exams the questions you will only understand understand once you solve lots of questions practice a lot of questions right now all of these things which you do do it twice so when I say do it twice the first time you read a material you are just reading it you are just grasping in the concepts the second time when you read the material you will actually retain the concepts right same thing happens when you're solving any past term papers or you're solving any revision note questions past questions first time when you solve you're just letting in the concepts you are understanding you might not able to solve it entirely by yourself so you have to see the solutions but the second time when you solve it you will be able to solve it on your own some part of it some part definitely will have to refer to the solution and definitely it's very very good for the revision point of view right so generally what we say that this revision note or the past questions which students solve they should solve it two to three times to retain the concepts very well and to understand what kind of questions and approach to all these questions right okay so the next thing is if even if you're taking any classes you might be making notes of the classes which are going on right so it's very very important that you read and make notes of important concepts if, even if you're doing it on your own make sure you write and practice that's very very important in, especially some of the very important concepts or proofs that needs to be written and then that should be read regularly so it's very important because actuarial science papers are generally conceptual papers they focus more on concepts than on theory right so most of the papers there are some papers which are very theoretical but there are most of the papers which concentrate on concept building so th those concepts need to be very very strong so that using those concepts you can appear you can sit for the exams you can appear for the different questions right so the co concept sh uh, should be maintained properly in a notebook and make sure you're reading those concepts every day so maybe you make it a point that you every day at least will revise the concept of one chapter if you have made any notes so that is very very important for because if you know the concept very well you will be able to solve the questions and there is something uh, called as table book there is something called as table book which we use in examination so this table book contains lots of formulas lots of um, 
uh, lots of formulas in it at one particular place. So there are some formulas which you don't even have to remember or memorize because you can use the table book for that, right? So it's not more of memorizing, it's more of understanding. So you need to understand and retain the concepts. For that, you will actually have to maintain a proper notebook with all the concepts and also read those concepts every day. So if you're taking any classes, you definitely have made your own notebook. So make sure you read those concepts every day at least one chapter okay now the next thing is um, at the end when you know just before maybe one month or two three weeks before the exams it's very very important that you also go through the highlighted portions of your material if you have any highlighted portions also in the material which the IA and IFA provides there are some portions which are in bold black bold colors so these are more important so what you can do is if you are not able to read the entire material you can just read these bold uh, portions very very nicely because these are very important from exam point of view right now as I mentioned that uh, actual exam exams are more conceptual based there are many theoretical and conceptual questions which you can also get for example let's talk about papers like cm1 uh, or maybe cm2 cs2 cs so these are the papers cs1 are more related to question solving uh, numerical papers but you will see that approximately around uh, 10 to 20 marks for of the entire examination consists of conceptual question uh, theoretical questions which can be direct or can be applied concepts so wherein you have to apply certain concept in a particular scenario or a situation so you have to have the understanding of that uh, concept and you can uh, then um, write your answers for that particular scenario or for that particular situation or the model this especially happens in papers like cm2 and cs2 right so you generally get up to 30 25 to or you can say 20 to 35 marks questions uh, we have uh, that on theory or that on concepts that which is related specifically to that particular model which you are building the background situation scenario which you are working on right the next very very key this is you can say it's a key to you know uh, pass all the actual exams which is consistency and regularity so it's not like something which you can study just one month before the exam and clear the exam the students might clear maybe five by four to five marks they can clear the exam but at the end the concepts which they retain is not very good they are not able to retain the concepts for a longer time or maybe their concepts are not very crystal clear so when you will sit down for any interview or when you will sit down after two years and prepare for your interviews then you'll not be able to answer the questions well in the interviews or even for a fact if you're studying just before the interview for any papers which you cleared maybe two years one year back you might not able to you know uh, recollect the concepts very easily why because at that point you just studied for one one and a half months and by fluke we can say you cleared the exam but that's not a good way of studying for any kind of actuarial exam you have have to actually spend good five to six months to four months depending on which paper you are appearing for and you have to have a regular studies or consistent studies every day even if you're doing it for one hour or two hours or some days or just sitting for half an hour it's very important that you consistently sit down to study every single day because that will actually help you build up the situations uh, the concepts very very nicely and crack the interview later on right now uh, in uh, n after 2019 when the syllabus changed so in as i mentioned cm and cs papers we had paper b so paper a is theoretical 100 marks paper and paper b is 100 marks paper in ms excel for your cm exams and our programming for um, CS exams now for paper B I will I have made another video as to how you can prepare for paper B but uh, to be very very uh, just uh, 
briefing you on how you can prepare for paper B is firstly to understand the basics of R programming or Excel, whatever you are appearing, uh, whatever the exam you are appearing for, and then do all the assignments which is given by the institute or uh, wherever you can get hold of these assignments. Just make sure you complete all these assignments very, very nicely, thoroughly, minimum of two to three times, right? It's very important that you solve these assignments. You just are not, if you're taking any classes, you are not just watching the uh, class. You have to actually sit down and solve these assignments for two to three uh, times and then we have again the past papers for paper B whatever five to six terms of past paper you have you sit down and solve that proper in a mock exam condition and definitely practice why practice because I have seen lots of students who for whom MS Excel or R programming is a new software is a new tool so for you all you all actually have to sit down first understand the basics practice uh, then solve the assignments which is the chapter specific or the syllabus specific uh, questions you have to do this on a regular basis every day you just cannot uh, you know practice paper A for some days and then paper B for some days no all the things should be managed properly and it should be done in a balanced manner so the paper B should be practiced every day because the most important thing which I have seen in paper B is the time constraint which students face. So this is, this can only be um, overcome by practicing every day. Now when we talk about MCQs, there are a few papers wherein you will get MCQs, all other papers are generally theoretical. Let's say suppose CB2 exams. It contains 39 marks of MCQs, uh, CB1 generally contains 20 marks of MCQs. Rather than these two papers, there are some other papers which might contain some of the MCQs. Other than that, all the papers of actual science is proper theoretical papers where you get question and answer. Generally, whenever we say theoretical, it's not just memorizing or learning and then just writing it down. It's always situational or um, model based or generally depending on different scenarios so it's always applied questions or uh, high order thinking questions which you get so you need to know the concept so that you can apply it in a particular situation uh, when i say practice you should write down and practice all your sums why because it's important when you write down you also write the steps you are not just writing starting few lines and you're just giving the answer no you actually have to give the steps between them because we get lots of step marking in IFOA as well as in IEI and I've seen students not clearing the exam just because of one of these uh, these very big reasons um, that is step marking what they do is they just like write the maybe if you're performing any kind of a proof or if you're finding any particular solution so you just you know write the starting equation maybe you show one single line and then you straight away give the answer that is a wrong way of doing it because generally especially in IFO uh, exams also in IEI every step is given a marks okay so there is one mark or two mark given to all these steps and the final answer which you write that final answer will only contain maybe 1 to 1.5 to 2 marks maximum if it's a 6 mark question okay so step marking is very very important so and writing performing all the steps is also very important which will definitely come with practice now in case of covid situations all these exams are happening online so uh, they are the theoretical papers when i say theoretical papers the cmcsa papers paper a and cb1 cb2 or the other higher level papers these are happening on ms word so you don't have to sit down and write you have to type it down on your ms word or text editor if it's iei so you actually have to also practice typing in MS Word, right? If you are appearing for your exams in these situations, make sure it's not about, uh, you know, just understanding the concept. It's not about only just learning a few concepts. It's also about execution, okay? So execution matters a lot when we talk about actuarial exams. Even if you have studied very nicely, but you are not able to type very fast, you're not able to type on your MS Word, it will be a very big problem for you in the exam.
right so it's very important that you also uh, practice these questions in ms word and you do it every day so it might so happen that every day you're sitting down for half an hour to one hour and taking up one or two questions and typing that it that in ms word so with a regular practice you will obviously improve your speed efficiency and in exam you will not face any kind of problems and lastly the order of exams make sure the order of uh, you yeah, the exams which you are appearing for is um decided very properly because uh, there is some order which you have to maintain you cannot appear for some papers before uh, the knowledge of uh, any other paper so that is another video we have made a video for that it's uh, i will put it down somewhere in the link in the description box so make sure you also see to that thing all in all the main thing to pass actual exams is definitely concept building practicing regularity and consistency and execution when we say execution you are writing it down or typing it down regularly so that you are improving at your speed and you are improving at your efficiency right so this is the entire way in which you can prepare and i have highlighted a few key points over here which you should definitely keep in mind and definitely practice before sitting for your actual exams all the best and if you have any more questions you can ask us in the comment section below thank you